Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. Today, we are feeding some cows. So if you guys watched my last video, you guys know that this one gave birth and that little heifer there. We're gonna go ahead and move them on this side of the field here because it's already been a week and a half and the rest of the cows are on that side, the hay region on that side, so I'm gonna go ahead and move them this side. And then let my dad's goats back on this side of the field here. I'm going to go ahead and jump in the skid loader and start feeding them. Come on, baby boy. Where are you going? Where are you going, baby boy? And then I got another follower. His name is, it's a girl, but her name is Diesel because my younger brother, Adrian, done messed up and thought it was a boy. Look how cute she is. Look how cute she is. Look how cute she is. Oh, you're so cute. Let's go. Let's go, baby boy. Come on. Get in there. Get, get going. It's a little bit sloppy out here this morning. We got about a quarter inch of snow last night, and right now it's 40 degrees, everything melted. And, uh, you know, we can't do much about all this mud. But the only mud is around here is in the corral area, and where there's a lot of traffic where a lot of the animals move. But other than that, you know, we like to keep everything covered, because if you don't have anything covered, then you have a lot of problems with the erosion and stuff. But anyways, I'm gonna go jump in the skist here, and, uh, Start feeding them. I'm gonna go ahead and let my dad's goats out here real quick. Look how chunky Diesel is. Come on. Come on, come on, girl. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Yeah, the baby. Yeah, the girl. You're such a good doggy. You're such a good doggy. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and move our welder trailer here real quick, then get one of the bales. I'm gonna let this warm up here and we'll go jump in the skid loader. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the barn, turn her off, and get going working today. So 
so now that that's done ah, can't even speak this morning now that that is done i'm gonna go ahead and check on these tomatoes real quick and then just get to the real work we still gotta finish tying up the high density apples and then we got some other small chores around the farm so let's go check those tomatoes all righty so it's really warm in here and i went ahead and took off that plastic coverage let's go ahead and check this temperature here it's about 64 in here right now not too bad not too bad they're growing it is february 11th so hopefully in another couple of weeks we're going to go ahead and get the other high tunnel ready and start transplanting them so the goal in another couple of weeks to have them you know another two to three inches taller than this they are right now and then go ahead and transplant out there get that the, the soil warmed up with a heater i'll explain all that whenever we get to it but now let's jump in the orchard and get some serious stuff done so it is about five o'clock right about now and i just came and checked the tomatoes again and then i uh realized that i didn't film any of my uh, actual work all day long i was just out in the high density apples tying those <clears throat> strings again and uh you know like i mentioned in my previous videos they're <clears throat> what is wrong with me can't even talk today anyways i was uh just tying those up and it just takes a long time but now i'm gonna go ahead and uh see what other damage i could do out there before we have to go in for the night but our john deere gator is straight piped if you guys saw my previous video you guys know and it just sounds pretty cool If you guys are from the Midwest, you guys know that we've had a lot of warm days lately. The last two weekends ago, it was up in the 70s. I think it got up to 75. And this past Sunday, it was like 50-something. And you know, this time of year with, with these warm weathers, we have to really watch our peaches. And then our young peach trees are two, year old, two years old. And we might leave a little bit of crop on these uh, this year. But as you guys can see here, these buds are starting to swell. and. You know, it is the middle of February and we don't want to see that yet, but with this warm weather, you know, it's like, what do you do? And like you see right here, this, you know, if, the, if we would have had a bit more, you know, if there would have been another week of warm weather, these would have been in full bloom. So we really got to watch these and make sure that whenever the, the, the buds swell like this, to keep, make sure we're out here. And if it does freeze, we got to put on um, a special solution we put on here. All it is is just a high phosphorus fertilizer and then some other things we added in there to keep it from freezing but you know we i just gotta be out here you know after every warm weekend or stuff like that to be out here checking on them and see what is going on all right y'all this is gonna be pretty much it for today fed the cattle in the morning just did a bunch of work around here, here on the farm but if you guys haven't already go ahead and smash that like button if you guys really enjoyed today's video don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of my YouTube family. Don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do post a video. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. You guys have a good day. We will see you next time.